Breaking news. Sidney Brenner has died at the age of 89. Sidney Brenner was born January 19th in 1927. He was born in Germiston, Germiston, South Africa. At age 15, Brenner won a scholarship to University of Witwatersrand in South Africa. In 1953, Brenner was one invited to Cambridge University to view Watson and Crick's DNA structure. Brenner had played a part in discovering and understanding the triplet genetic code of DNA. Around 1960, Brenner, Francois Brenner, Jacob, and Matthew Messelowson designed and worked experiments in, in establishing the existence of, of and function of messenger RNA. Brenner had proposed the concept of messenger RNA. Brenner made significant contributions to work on the genetic code and other areas of molecular biology while working in the Medical Research Council, Council Laboratory of Molecular Biology in Cambridge, England. Together with Jack Dunitz, Dorothy Hodgkin, Leslie Orgel, and Daryl M. Ogden, he was one of the first people in April 1953 to see the model of the structure of DNA constructed by Frank Lewis Crick and James and James Watson. At the time, he had he and the other scientists were working at the University of Oxford's chemistry department. Brenner made several seminal con contributions to the emerging field of molecular biology in the 1960s. The first was to prove that all overlapping genetic coding sequences were impossible. The insight separated the coding function from stru structural con constraints as proposed in a clever code by George Gamow. Sidney Brenner, Brenner with George Pizianik created the first computer matrix analysis of nucle nucleic acids using TRAC, which Brenner can still continues to use. Sidney Brenner had founded the Molecular Sciences Institute in Berkeley, California. Brenner then focused on establishing Kenor Habditis elegans as a model organism for the investigation of animal de development, including neural development. Brenner chose this one millimeter long soil roundworm mainly because it is simple. It is easy to grow in both populations and turned out to be quite convenient for genetic analysis. Come back for more breaking news tomorrow.